saw what happened in 2008, which was fraud. Yeah. Fraud. You know, they packaged bonds with no income and they sold them as AAA, which bankrupted the world. They got bailed out. They're funded. These banks are funding the major parties of the world. And yet the Middle England, the poor, are getting worse and worse and worse. And it isn't going to stop. The Goldman Sachs were selling bonds and then shorting them on the other side. That's fraud. I'm sorry, but that's fraud. I'm coming to you and saying, you know what, I've got a great product. You said, brilliant, I'm putting my pension into it. Guys, I sold a load of shit short here. That's fraud, yeah? That's what happened. And then, and then we bailed them out. And then we bailed them out. So you came here on your break? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm you for you guys. On. But I want to show that it's not the suits against the non-suits. No, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> And there is a real cause. There's a real cause here. Because in essence, around the world's financial institutions, substantial fraud has been committed in which not one individual got jailed. The taxpayers, me, you, everyone bailed them out. And yet we're going to go for another bailout. Who suffers? The pensioners, where they see their real pensions decrease. The savers are losing in, uh, uh, the value of their savings for inflation as the world's governments print money. The uh, schools are being cut. The hospital services are being cut, all to fund, in essence, fraud. But went on in 2008. Subprime mortgages was basically fraud. This is a protest not about uh, a people without without a cause. It's a protest of the middle England, middle America, the middle communities of the world. Because my children, they're going to inherit a world that's burdened by the deficits and the failure of these governments. Governments that, in essence, are supported by the hedge funds, supported by the city. They don't represent the people anymore. You know, the governments are for the people to represent the people. They don't. And there has to be change. Not for me, for my children. Okay, um, what, what's your name? Sorry, can I... Uh, Tim Sanders. Tim Sanders. Okay, very good. What would you suggest? What would you suggest? Yeah. Okay, well, well, in essence, here, number one, why doesn't the world ask, why are they too big to fail? You know, why are they too big to... What does it mean? It, it means, in essence, the shareholders lose their money, the bondholders lose their money. Does the payment system of the world stop? No. Do your wages still get paid? Yes. Can you still withdraw? money? Yes. But in essence, what we have here is capitalism is like Christianity without hell. You know, these guys, if they made mistakes, go bankrupt. Go. Stop. That's it. Because in essence, why should we bail out their failure? Why should we bankrupt the future generations, our children? Why? And when the money comes through, when the money comes through, where does it go? It goes back into their pockets, back into the bankers' pockets as bonuses. Yeah. The services get cut, the hospitals get cut, the pensioners lose out, the schools waiting lists increase. We are bankrupting a generation, 16 to 24 year olds, 1 million unemployed. What is the government doing talking about another bailout? It's, it's unjust. Immoral. It's immoral. What's your job? I'm an accountant. I'm, 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 I'm uh, in, in finance. Do you think it's a viable uh, uh, solution to continue protesting? Absolutely. Absolutely, because these protesters are representing the future of Britain, of America, of, of the Western world. Because in essence, if we don't stand up to the corporate greed, the malinvestment of these banks, the fraud, we are bankrupting our future generations. We cannot continue to print money and bail out banks because we will create hyperinflation. We will create a situation where commodity prices will rocket, but the poor can't afford anything to eat. This is a genuine movement, and if, if people think this is just a rag bunch of people just up for a fight, they're completely wrong, because in five years, if people don't stand up to what's going on, then the schools, the hospitals, the pensioners are going to be decimated. Because the parties of these world don't represent the people anymore. The Conservative government, most of its finances is hedge funds in the city. The label is in the pocket of the city. When it came to them, they bailed them out. They forgot the people. And it isn't about class. It isn't okay, about okay, okay. working class, middle class. It's about the genuine people who work for a living, who care about community, who care about their children. And this is a just fight. Because if a few people do nothing, then evil will prevail. In tax hedge fund gambling, change the way bankers get paid. There you are. I just think that man's incredible because he's actually finance, and, and of course he's completely right in what he's saying. We've been, we've been robbed.
Uh, he represents Middle England. Uh, he's extremely vocal and obviously knows his facts about, about the banking industry. And what is just said is that, that, that our generation have been written off and the generation below because of the misdemeanours and the fraud of the banks and its fraud. Our governments are in their pockets, in the pockets of lobbyists and hedge funds and, and, and big finance. And, 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 and,